And that brings us to our last inductee for the night. Wow, there's a lot of, there's a lot of things I can say about this next guy, Corey Lopez. If you saw the Surf Expo uh, magazine, there's a little profile in there on each of the guys done by Andrew Lewis. And the first quote in Corey's profile is, uh, growing up on the Gulf of Mexico. <laughs> who, who would have thought, right? Who would have thought? Who would have thought? And him and his brother, he gets to join his brother Shay up here tonight. So Corey Lopez, like all these guys, started surfing in the ESA. But he quickly got on the ASP World Tour in 1997 and got himself up near the top in a hurry. Actually, he got all the way, at one point he was leading the rankings and finished the year number three. I think a lot of people forgot that. And then he was constantly in the top ten in the ASP World Tour days when there was some pretty serious competition. But I think, for me personally, I was the publisher of Surfing Magazine in the beginning of the 2000s. And um, they had a contest at Chopu. And Corey won it. And if you remember the photo, I remember when those photos came into the magazines on the Flames light table. And he called us in to look at them and we went, you kidding? You're absolutely kidding. <laughs> and we made that one photo of that hellacious drop that he paddled into and pulled into the bow. And I think it was the first, I think it was the really the first Chopu photo that everyone went, went, wow, wow. And it still stands the test of time. We're talking quite some time ago. And that's the one thing that will always be in my mind, the day that Flame called me into his office and said, look at this photo, what are we gonna do with it? And, um, and I think Corey has been one of, without question, the East Coast's biggest surf stars. And he, and he continues as a brand ambassador, going around the world, finding waves like that sick left and to Africa. Well, how good's that place, right? I mean, we all want his job now, right? He's a brand ambassador for O'Neill and he's still doing it. It's my great pleasure to bring up Corey Lopez. say all these things about me is uh, kind of a trip because when you get caught in that whirlwind of competing and just surfing, all you want to do is surf. And uh, you start this from a little kid and you just start surfing and because you love surfing, you, you paddle out, you know, your dad teaches you, takes you to the beach. Um, and all of a sudden it turns into this whole thing, competing, surfing, getting paid to go around the world. And you're, it's just a whirlwind, it just turns into this whole monster of just like travel, surf, compete have fun, party, like, it's, it's just a great life, and I'm so blessed. Uh, it's a whirlwind looking back at how, uh, how fast it's gone by now, you know, and uh, to be inducted into the Hall of Fame, I'm just truly honored. Um, I want to thank everyone that put this uh, induction together tonight. Thank you so much, and to everyone else, congratulations. Um, you know, I want to thank for sure uh, my mom and dad, who I couldn't have done any of this without. Yeah. I grew up on the, on the Gulf Coast, and uh, we don't really have surf. <laughs> and the hours that they put on the road to drive me over to Sebastian Inlet, to Cocoa Beach, uh, Melbourne, to surf, uh, 
it was just a lot of time. And uh, I know my dad, my dad loved to surf, but my mom did it just because she wanted me to have fun. And, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, it, so thank you guys, love you. Um, my wife, my beautiful wife, who I've, uh, I met when I was 20 years old. Um, you know, you're amazing, thank you for putting up with all my traveling. Uh, I'm still traveling. And uh, my children, Layla. Hi, Layla. Luke, Lana, I love you guys. Um, you know, I want to thank all the people that helped me get started. Um, you know, my first surfboard, my first real board my dad bought me was a Salty Dog. Uh, real old, it was beat up when I got it. I rode it for a while. Um, Shortly after that, I started riding for Spectrum surfboards. Guys like Craig Bobbitt supported me. Um, it was huge to be on a Spectrum surf team back then for me. It was an honor. Guys like Trip Freeman, Barry Bozonski, like showed me the ropes around the world. I remember Trip Freeman when I was 13, took me out at YMAF for the first time. And he lent me his 8.6. And I believe that was the day he got that famous photo of himself on his like 9.6, that purple board where he's in the air flying. Some people might remember it. I do. Um, you know, and after that, you know, I, I went and started riding AJ Finance surfboards. Um, AJ, I don't know if you're here or not, but thank you. I slept on your couch for probably two years. Um, went to high school in Melbourne for a little while. Uh, that was great. Um, and then, of course, Matt Biolis, who's uh, been my shaper for the last 20 years. Um, Matt, uh, I don't know if you're here or not either, but thank you uh, for all the boards. Still give me the boards, and now my children are riding your boards. It's just... Truly an honor to ride some of the best surfboards in the world uh, from you. Thank you. Um, I want to thank all my people, that, all my friends that pushed me, guys like Andy Irons, Bruce Irons, um, Manoa Jolet, all the guys when we're surfing Tahiti on days like this, we're pushing the limits. Um, I, to me, that's a big reason why I'm here for just riding those waves, I guess. Um, and those guys pushed me because we were, you know, you get out in there and there's like, this is testosterone because you got to get the biggest wave and you got you got to beat your buddy and you, you know, it's, it's, it's on, it's a, it's a, you know, whatever. It's fun. <laughs> um, I got to thank O'Neill, of course. This is my 21st year with him. Um, and, uh, um, uh, you know, I remember when I signed with him, I was like, who am I going to ride for? I had a couple options and I'm like, I'm just so thankful I chose O'Neill. Thank you guys. Um, and of course, everyone on the Gulf Coast, all my, my people on the Gulf, that's, that's home, it'll always be home. Um, the Gulf is a great place. I don't live there now, but it's still home. It's the Gulf Coast is a, everyone over there, just thanks for everything. And uh, I don't know, everyone, thanks for coming out. It was great and uh, cool. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a good night.